blue. The hot colour strutting its funky stuff on and off the catwalk at this year's London Fashion Week is red. Hi from London Fashion Week. Hi from London Fashion Week. Hi from London Fashion Week. A colour that once was connected to geeky, freckled dweebs is now the height of fashion. Uh, it's been going really well for me because I'm not the typical redhead like freckles. And, you know, I, I, have, I can portray a lot of different looks. I mean, if you saw my portfolio, like, it doesn't really matter. I have red hair. Sometimes it actually is a benefit for me because I'm different like that. And like, people are looking for redheads, you know. It's like a job right there. It's geeky at school. We've got lots of cool. names for you at school, but um, I'm over that now. I'm very totally. sexy as well. It's very Jessica Rabbit. And for all those true followers of fashion, a sizzling shock of red hair can come right from a bottle. Yeah. You're not a natural red hair, are you? I'm not, no, not really, but red is my favourite colour. <laughs> so, you know, like I always paint my hair red since I was 18 years old. So, you know, like I suppose I feel like a redhead, a natural one, even though I'm not a real one. It's a very exotic colour to be able to live with. My natural hair colour is such a boring colour. Michelle Collins, the blonde vixen from EastEnders, can't wait to start turning heads with a new look. As soon as I leave EastEnders, I'm definitely going to dye my hair, and possibly red. And from the look of things, reds certainly have more fun.